Hi all, this is Harris Kedas and this is the second screencast on how to use TextMate to for all your late king needs. This today we're gonna deal with projects. So I'm gonna open my thesis project. I will use uh, launch bar to locate it, but you can use your favorite moth method. So right, right now I will open this whole folder with TextMate. As you can see when you open a folder in TextMate it creates a project for you. This is the project window. The file we want to deal with is master.tech. This is how I like to structure my big projects. There's a master file which contains all the use packages and new theorem and everything else you need to import. And then all the various chapters are included through various include commands. Okay, just for demonstration purposes, I want to actually only include two of those. So I would want to comment out the other three. So the way to do that is, one of the ways to do that is to go to the columnar typing mode and then just comment the column out, the, all the rows out. Another option is to use the uncomment, the comment, the toggle comment command which you can find in the source bundle so this means it works on all your source files and it's always the same shortcut okay so this can very easily help you toggle whole lines between comment and uncomment status all right so let's keep them commented out for now okay so let's try and compile this file now well maybe i should save it first compiling happens with command b and we've already done this before. In my case, we've set it up so that TechnicShop lo loads up. And now the interesting thing was PDF Sync, which allows you to go back to your source file by command clicking at the corresponding file. Now you will notice that TextMate actually took us inside the file general definitions, because that's where the corresponding code is, and not master.tech. And we'll do the same thing with the other files as well. So if I move on to a further section then and command click there then I would be taken into the Newton Polygons file in this case. Alright, suppose now we want to open one of those tech files to work with. How can we locate them? Well, a simple way is using the file manager. The file manager is initiated by command T uh, which brings up this little window here all you have to do now is start typing letters from the file that you're interested in and then quickly the, the text mail will filter out things not needed. So in this case I can immediately get my desired file. Okay, actually I didn't need it so I might as well close it. Alright, now suppose you want to find where in your, you want to see where in your PDF file a certain part of your document is well, there's a command that does that that works with TechnicScope, which is find in TechnicScope. That will actually take you at the corresponding place, or at least close to it. All right, let's move back. All right, now let's talk a little bit about how you can go about um, moving among your file. Yeah, so you can easily change the new section through the the symbol menu on the right. You can also bring that menu up by uh, the go to symbol command, which again works the same way as the file uh, thingy. All right. Now for some more serious stuff. Well, at this point, suppose I add some something new to this this particular tech file, and I want to see the results. Well, I would like to compile, but not this file, but actually master.tech. Uh, but I'd rather not have to switch to master.tech to do that. Well, that can be done by dealing with project variables. So I'm going to create a new project variable. It's going to be called tm latex master, 
you can find why this is the right name at the readme that comes with the LaTeX bundle. Now, I want this variable to be set exactly to my master.tech file. Oops, that wasn't very smart. Okay. Alright, so what this means now is that whenever we ask uh, TextMate to compile for us, and we are in this project, it will always be compiling master.tech. Because if I press command B now, it will work fine and it will compile master.tech without complaining at all. Alright, so now that we saw this really cool feature, let's talk a little bit about uh, BIP files and how to manage your bibliography. I like using BIPdesk. Let's initiate BIPdesk. Uh, and in particular, I will tell BIPdesk to handle biblio.bib, which is the file I use in my thesis. Now, I'm going to do some magic in TextMate. Suppose I want to add a citation at this point right here. So I'm going to type backslash site, braces, and now I need to remember what the corresponding citation name is. Well, actually I don't have to, because that's what one of the commands in LaTeX will allow me to do. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, Bip desk completion. So what this does is it brings up a menu of all the bibliography files and up to the semicolons you see the well actually up to the the percent sign this is the name of the bibliography item and the rest after that is the author and the title so I can easily choose let's say Milno it will insert the right thing there alright suppose there are too many reference so I want to narrow them down and I know that I'm using Milno so I can narrow it down by starting with Milno and again selecting the bibliography command, then then it filters it out and only shows me the right thing. Okay, now what else do we often need to do? Ah, we need to often do references. All right. So let's use backslash ref, and now we want to refer to some of the labels we have set up in the file. Well. There's a new command, this is actually the first time you're seeing it in action, it just got created an hour ago. And what this command is doing is it is looking in all the files that are included inside the uh, master file. And searches for labels in all of those, let's see where the command is, and has the set label here we go. It lists for, looks at all the label commands for all of those and it brings them all in a nice list for you and you can select the right one. As you can see, it shows you a little bit of what's in this the same line up to that point, and then shows you the actual link, the actual label. So there it will start the label. Suppose I only knew that what I wanted was an equation. I could narrow it down by first typing equation and then calling the command, in which case it will only show me the equations. All right. Okay. Well, that wraps it up for now. Well, I hope you found these two pictures very helpful. And stay tuned for the next one. The next uh, screencast sometime in the near future. Bye.